Hi guys, it's Josh from Brain Labs and welcome back to another B-Board tutorial. Today we're gonna to be showing you guys how to update the firmware on the B-Board. Just like the micro bit, the B-Board also has a processor that needs updating from time to time. If you guys know, we have our Blix processor right on the back of the B-Board and sometimes you need to update that to the most recent version to make sure it's working properly. The Blix processor has custom code known as firmware. To put it simply, it's what's used for the B-Board to communicate to your micro bit and vice versa and this firmware needs to be always up to date. To get started on updating your firmware, you guys are gonna need your B-board with your micro bit plugged in, and you're gonna need a micro USB cable. So to update your firmware, your B-board does need to be connected to a power supply and be turned on. Once you have all your connections, you're ready to get started. So now that we're all plugged into our computer, we're just gonna to head to our Brent Labs IDE, which is code.brentlabs.ca. Once we're in there, I suggest you guys create a new project and call it Firmware Update. And now we're in our blocks and coding screen. So once we're in our IDE, if you can see here in the bottom of the screen, there should be a purple button that says B-Board Firmware. You click on this and it's gonna bring up a box with all the steps on how to update your firmware. Under these instructions, you can go ahead and actually click the button, Download B-Board Firmware. This will instantly begin to download the firmware to your computer and it's gonna show up in your file explorer, most likely in your downloads. If you are on Mac, it's gonna be located in your finder. I'm actually on a Chromebook. Now when your micro bit is plugged in to your computer, it's gonna be one of the location options on the side of your finder or file explorer. Once you locate the downloaded firmware update in your file, go ahead and drag and drop this into your micro bit location. Once you drag and drop it, it's gonna take a little bit to process. Once that it's finished processing on your micro bit, you're actually gonna get an A with an arrow telling you to press button A. Now, when you press button A, nothing is going to happen because we don't have our power source yet. So be sure to then plug in your power source to your B-board. Make sure you flip your on switch so you can see your red light. And then go ahead and hit button A. And as you can see, it's gonna give you a spiral and then a smiley face letting you know that you have successfully updated your firmware. If this does not work or your firmware does not get updated, try to turn off all the power on your B-board again and then try once more and it should be good to go. Thank you so much for tuning in to another B-board tutorial, guys. Now you know how to update your firmware for your B-board. If you need more in-depth tutorials or demos slash videos, check out tv.brandlabs.ca where we are gonna have more B-board demos or our YouTube channel for all the tutorials you need. And until next time, happy innovating.